Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the This Is Win 11 app, something you could download to help you really customize Windows and tweak it and get rid of uh, stuff you don't need and add stuff you might want. Uh, so this is a free download. It was from GitHub. GitHub. So it took these two programs, Love Windows Again and This Is Win 11, and combined them into one. But when you download it, they'll give you the standalone Love Windows Again program by itself in case you want to use just that one. So they also say don't use this on Windows 10. So whatever you do, don't do it on Windows 10. So there must be some reason you shouldn't do it. So don't even try it. So once you uh, extract the zip file, you have the This Is Win 11 executable. Just double click it. And there's two ways to go about it. You could use the menus on the left here. Or you could just kind of scroll through the options here and kind of guide you through it. And there's two ways it works. So the blue button here are things that it could do for you. The gray button will just take you to that part of the settings. So let's say click on Customize Windows 11 here. Here's some things it could do. And you could just kind of check the ones you want to apply and uncheck the ones you don't, then just click on Fix Issues. I clicked on this Restore Defaults on accident, or not on accident, but trying it out, and it started just undoing all kinds of weird stuff, so I don't recommend using this. What I do recommend, though, is creating a system restore point before you even try messing with this or doing some kind of backup, because you never know what these things, what they're really going to do. All right, so you got this check button here, and then it tells you what it suggests here. Should be fixed. Kind of recommendations there. And then you can pick the ones you want, just have it fix the issues. So 55 out of 67 requires attention. So if you go back home, you can go to the next one here, new start menu. So like I said, if you click the gray button, it's going to take you to the start menu sections. Then you could do those stuff manually, or if you click on customizations available, same type of thing. Then you have to remove bloatware. So here's what it found. You could also empty the recycle bin if you want. Fix privacy issues. You could do that. If you check, probably show you the same thing here. Yep. So you could pick the ones you want and have it fixed. Install packages from the Microsoft Store. So these are kind of recommended stuff, you know, like a Thunderbird for mail, PDF readers. Photo viewers, just kind of offering you suggested software that you could install if you want to try something new. You know, Team Viewer, that kind of thing. Action Center, all it has is you could take you take you to the settings there. Nothing it's going to do for you. File Explorer changes. So if you want to enable the Windows 10 File Explorer, you know, show hidden files. You know, so you don't have to do this manually. You could do it for you. Show file name extensions. You can see how that's unchecked because I already have that applied on this computer. So anything that's unchecked has already been done. Settings app. Windows updates. That'll just take you to the settings. Disable the snap layout. If you don't like that, I could do it for you. Disable widgets. If you don't want the widget showing down there, it could do that for you too. You could do these things yourself too. You know, a lot of them, not all of them. Gesture controls, wallpapers, minimal lock screen. So a lot of these ones at the end, are, it'll just take you to that settings page where you have to do it yourself. And then if you want to install the Android apps, uh, Windows subsystem for Android, you could do that. That's kind of, I've seen that kind of work sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't, so it's a little tricky to get that going properly. Gaming stuff. And then some tips. Like I said, you could go down this list too. Customize, you know, apps. You know, it's kind of broken down the categories, uh, packages. So it's just another way to get to it. So pretty simple to use. So like I said, I'll you know just download it here. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, you just have to download the executable here, or not the executable, the zip file here, and then you'll have it here. Just unzip it. Just run this one. Do your thing. But like I said, do a system restore backup first because. You don't want to hose your system here trying to tweak it. All right. Hopefully that uh, kind of explains how it works. All right. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.